Hey. You are you are on top of these things, aren't you, Elia? Keep on popping, yeah, I don't get it. Plastic bars when I copy my steel. Dime lo que, dime lo que tú quieres de mí, coqueta. Te lo que te gusta es salir y se suelta. Cuando baila reggaeton pa' mí, que muñeca.
so <laughs> yes so what what is up well weekend is almost here so I thought uh, let me do some late night drawing because why not it's not like I have anything better to do tomorrow other than sleeping if I want to what about you what's uh, what's up on your side Lucky, Christ. I finally reached you live. Hey, Azola, welcome to the stream. I'm glad you reached me live. Although it is a, it is a secret stream, so I'm not, I'm not really doing anything big today. Just a bit of nonsensical fun. Uh, not much. My country entered the war, I guess. Ooh, I forgot. Are you, you you're Iranian? Man, the, the world is a little bit uh, messed up right now. Nothing specific. Sheesh. That uh, yeah, that is a bit uh, a bit scary. I mean, one one would hope that they will not uh, that Iran will not retaliate again. But then why wouldn't they? Since Israel just retaliated. I was talking to this about my my wife today that. Just remembering all the things from World War One and Two, they started over small things like well, okay, two Hitler did march into uh, Poland, but small things started one, and we're doing that again, just a little bit that and that, just attack a little bit here, attack a little bit there. Nobody wants to just calm down and and, and slow down a little bit. scary times uh, how's how's the mood in the country though how are, how are people holding up how is actually actually how are people doing after all the the protests that happened a couple of years ago with uh, with with the women and uh, the poor lady who was beaten was she beaten to death or tortured by the authorities uh, during my university studies i had a good iranian friend and she was like keeping me up to date of what's what's happening in iran she was never happy or the happiest I actually went to a couple of, of parties with a bunch of Iranian folks. It was quite quite interesting because they sang some folk songs, some of them were crying. It has not been going going good for you guys in a while. Not necessarily you're doing right is the the Brits and the Americans when they were doing their ah let us overthrow governments because that's good and then we got rid of your Shah and now now we have this what's going on 
It's like everyone for themselves and people don't trust neither side. Yeah. How, how could you? How could you trust anybody? By the way, w welcome to the stream, Asil. Uh, this is apparently the slightly emo talking about geopolitics live stream. <laughs> uh, I guess we can always uh, draw some robots to try and make ourselves feel a bit better. Works for me. Uh, it's okay, Alien feels safe here, so he opened up. Alien is safe here. Alien is always welcome here. Alien is one of the one of the main uh, main people who is there for most of my live streams uh, but they launched five six misses near my time oh shit and people surprise and hold it together fuck man you're that close to the whole thing damn i am sorry to hear that hope uh, Hope nothing, nobody got hurt. And miss us. <sighs> well, we had a, a good couple of, of decades of like semi peace. So I it was about time that all of that goes to shit. Nobody likes peace, right? It's not profitable. Uh, so I just wanted to say that you inspired me to make my own random robot paint generator. So now I'm sketching an old robot bird with helicopter like rotor and loosely covered with a blanket. His name is Harold. Love it. Awesome, man. Nice. Drawing is about having fun. And fun is a lot of times coming up with silly ideas like that. Sounds great. Harold, I like Harold is a is a good name.
it's a little bit unbalanced that's why I want to add this sort of heel heel wheels Uh, hey Sola, where are you from? It's not really centered. Hungry, ah, okay. So it's Jola. I guess, I guess that's from Jolt or something like that, right? Like shortened version of that. Jula came as a nickname from the online buddies. Sounds sounds legit. I don't I don't think I had any Jolas in my friend but I did have Zotios and a lot of those. Zozos of course. Zolis, but then I think Zoli is a different name from Short, if, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. What am I talking about? Of course, it is. Short origin is from the word salta. If I oh wow, that's uh, I never knew that. That is actually cool. You do want to be a salta. That is that is a good uh, <laughs> prerequisite, I guess. So since, since we're talking about, about geopolitics and stuff that is getting the video probably banned or something, tell me about your stance on Orban. How, how are you doing? I, I, I feel like today we have to talk about all, all these topics. Which, which, side, which side of that uh, 
shit fence are you standing on? That was a nice little footy. <laughs> oh man, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna make you talk about that stuff. But you, you, you made, oh, I would say you made my day, but technically you made my night. But that was funny, that was funny. I'll give you that one. I feel like you, you carry that around with you in a pocket and just take it out if, uh, if needed. <laughs> This, this needs something sexier here, I'm not the biggest fan of that. Yeah, I'm kind of that, the funny dad joke guy around my buddies. Funny and dad joke in the same sentence? Not sure, uh, not sure you know what you're talking about there, my friend. <laughs> time well there were some IT colleagues who wanted to beat me after a day job, but looking at their faces totally worth it uh, let me guess you're like I don't I actually I don't know if Hungarian has puns because I would have said you're, you're one of the guys who, who, who love shooting off puns but I don't know what's what's the Hungarian the equivalent of that but yeah, I imagine you make the, the Pistike Moritzka jokes all the time. <laughs> ah. Well, I can write one, but promise you will not ban me. I am sorry my friend, the, these kind of promises I, I cannot, I cannot give you. If it's extremely uh, insulting, I might have, <laughs> I will not ban you, I will not ban you. Két szóval, hogy magyar fantasy író szeretne rárántani. Mert mit így? Mert itt is a fant. Oké, oké. Wow. I think, I think, I mean, I hope. You're the only Hungarian in the in the chat, and that we're not terrorizing other people with this. 
this is not uh, it's working i just can't have this be shiny uh this is a good one yep yep i mean good in a sense that it's bad but i appreciate it thank you That's two for two? What do you mean, alien? Uh, I didn't get neither of these. <laughs> well, the joke was in Hungarian. It does. It does. It doesn't work in uh, in other languages. It's like a name pun where the name means something. But it's it's just like you know one of those jokes that make you like oh, really. Okay, yeah, give, 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 give us the English one, Jola. Give us the English one. Hey, Kronks, welcome. Welcome to the, the, the secret stream. Where secret things are happening. Oh no, oh, well, you know what? This is just not working. I'm not gonna force it in here. If it's not working, it's not working. You need to, you need to kill your babies. It would look something like this if it was working, right? Yeah, that is that is quite a bit better. Um, so the the joke there was that uh, the Hungarian prime minister is overweight, and we do not wish anything bad on him, but we hope that uh, the cholesterol wins out in the battle of health. What song is playing in the background? Uh, let me check. It says, how do I actually? Beach bar, something, something. I actually don't know how to check. Let me pause it. Click this. I am terribly sorry. I do not know how to check. <laughs> but it's, it's, I think the band is called, uh, oh no, here, Beach Bar Den Zaytun. There we go. The song was Den Zaytun Beach Bar. Bam. Look that one up. Ted Yu, is this Sketchbook Pro? If so, that's your best sketch brush. What's your sketch, best sketch brush? Uh, it's Photoshop, this one. And if you go to my, actually not sure in this description, but if you go any into any of my last videos, there will be a link to my favorite brushes that I use in Sketchbook Pro. And it's probably one of the K-Melon brushes. So I have two brush sets that I use there from K-Melon and Ooh, a designer whose name right now I'm blanking on because it's a bit late and I'm silly. Up, down, up, down. Let's go up again. Uh, 
just Photoshop, just drum sketchbook, or is that your choice to do experience? Uh, just today, uh, I just turned on Photoshop. Uh, doesn't trump, uh, like I use the two tools for different things. I usually like this kind of work that I'm doing now. Okay, this is a shit song, we don't like this. Let's move on. Next, please. Uh, so usually for just sketching around, I use sketchbook and switch to Photoshop when I need to start some rendering work. But since I had Photoshop open because I was doing some client work, I thought, okay, let me, let me continue with that one. Back to the joke. I don't, got distracted by her. <laughs> uh, Moon, I suck at perspective drawing, but I'm practicing until I get good. You go, Moon. You definitely go. Just keep on watching. Like I have perspective videos. A lot of other people have perspective videos. Watch those. Apply them. And it's just it's a bit of patience, right? You just have to keep on doing some sometimes boring basic things until you get get good uh, great soundtrack for geopolitical <laughs> uh, okay Jola's joke with the rising sales in self-driving cars there will be country songs about cowboys who got left by their pickup in no time Wait here, I, I have I have something for this wrong button. There we go, let's see. Oh here we go. See that? Do you see <laughs> do you see that? Oh, you see this? You see this? <laughs> that's that's what your joke gets. <laughs> Uh, all right, back to this one. Uh, draw some big mech type thing. Uh, what what does what does this look like? <laughs> I mean, uh, what do, I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to satisfy you, Kronks. Look, look, wait, wait. Let me, let me, let me do it a bit better. There you go. Now it's a really big Mac thing. There you go. Is that big enough for you? Hey, Matze. Uh, I don't know. I just, I was, I was gaming a bit until 10 and then at 10 I was like, oh, I feel like drawing. And I also remembered, oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, plan. Oh, I didn't have a live stream on Thursday. So let's do one now. Take that away. How you doing, uh, Matze? How are you? I see we're doing Darren McQuatch. Next today. Now, now you make me look up this Derek of course. Do I know this person? Or is it McQuash? How do you pronounce that? Darren Quash? 
Darren McQuaid? I think you mean Darren Quash. Sometimes I like my music. And then we need to dance to it a little bit. Darren Quash, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it look like his stuff? Hmm. First time Eindhoven today, now that is what I call university campus. Actually, I don't know if I've been to the university campus, but I do not like the city. You know, no, Elliot, not personally, no, 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 I just, I follow him on Instagram. I follow his stuff. Would be, would be a shame if I wasn't following his stuff, I guess. <laughs> would be a bad, uh, bad mech drawing person Von Ling? Now that name sounds a little bit less familiar like to torture myself with heavy paint every now and then. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he is, a, he, he is heavy poly. Uh, he was a little bit familiar to me. Yeah, crazy guy. Uh, Azula, now I got stuck about how to apply the blanket and Harold. Uh, can you do it in 3D? <laughs> That's always that's always a cheap solution. If if you know some uh, fabric uh, thing in Blender, just throw a fabric fabric, throw some fabric over uh, some hard surface stuff, and you should be golden. Billy, how are you, young man, Robert? I uh, I uh, you know you know how to how to talk to me. You call me young. I am happy. That's the side works. I am already, I'm already much better than I was before somebody called me young. So thank you very much. Very, very kind of you. Now the issue comes from the fact that it will hide detail. Well, isn't it good? You have to draw less detail. Think of that. See, intelligence, intelligence, my man. You just, you just say that there's detail, and then you don't have to draw it. How old are you anyways, Robert? We do not... You don't ask a lady about their age. Never, nobody nobody taught you manners, uh, Mr. Kronks? It's, it's not nice to do. I am hitting 39 this year. Uh, you slipped some words we work today on health and well-being and my head still giggles about wealth and health <laughs> as the literal opposite uh, you guys use heavy paint i use it not too often but uh, every now and then yes just because i'm not that much into coloring and for heavy paint you, that's sort of what you're do, doing, right? It's all about the values and, and blocking in colors and no lines. 
as, as you can see, <laughs> I'm more about the lines. We made her blush. <laughs> yeah, try to build a concept in heavy paint because you refuse to learn Photoshop. I mean, if you if you're good with, uh, I do I do have some friends mostly working in concept art who are not specialized online. They are much better with values. Like they paint immediately with values. So this day with a bash, well not bash, but like done with values. But that's not how my brain works, sadly. Okay, that's uh, that's that's okay. Let's try another one. That's me, you are a value brain. That's nice actually, my man. I wish I wish I was a value brain. Would be nice sometimes. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Tachi <laughs> Everybody likes Tachi How big am I? I'm drawing quite small again, aren't I? It is what it is. Pixel Art Robert, yeah, seems that I'm, I'm, I'm going in that, that direction. do pixel art yeah yeah I did but it's not really my thing Actually, the circle is not working just yet I uh, I was living in a dorm in Germany together with a couple of game dev people and they needed some sprites for some games they were working on. 
so I did quite quite a bit of sprites back in those days. Uh, no, they were student projects, not uh, not release games. Any plans on Konihunda selling stuff again? Yeah, definitely selling stuff again. Uh, next week we are in uh, Winterberg, Winterberg, Winterberg in Germany, uh, and then we come back on Friday. And I think next day, Saturday, is uh, Koningsdag. Uh, you should head out. Though, Alien, never be sorry, man. It's it's a shit situation. I totally get you. You don't be sorry. This is this is a safe space. Here. Yeah. Don't uh, you you uh, have a have a good night and try to rest and really wish all the best. Hopefully. Hopefully the situation will somehow de-escalate. Could have been a long week indeed, but it is not a long weekend sadly. But yeah, Matze, so for me it is sort of like a long weekend because we we are celebrating uh, Easter, even though it's been long gone, but we, like our, our sort of mini tradition, because we started not so long ago with it, is to celebrate Easter in, in Germany, so that's... Hopefully it's gonna be a cool week. Happy, I want more happy songs right now. Uh, Easter has a different meaning in EU, right? Something about great famines. What? Great famine and Easter? Also, Easter is celebrated differently depending on which part of EU or Europe you're in. Most, uh, most Eastern European countries have a, a different way of celebrating it. But yeah, I, I, I never heard of famine being connected to Easter. It's a fest of love. Jesus got nailed. Wait. <laughs> 
Oh, it's not the nailed part, right? Or is it the nailed part? It is the nailed part. Oh, the, the love is his love that he, he sacrificed himself, him being God. It's always fun talking about this to your friends, like, wait, how, what? But God is Jesus. Yes. How did he sacrifice himself? Well, he he's came here as Jesus. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, it makes sense if you don't think about it. Just keep on not thinking about it. It will all be good. So when Bruce Willis sacrificed himself out of love for Liv Taylor on that asteroid, it made him Jesus? Well, if he would have been McLean from the Die Hard series, I, I, would, have, I would have considered it. But just like that, a random, a random my, not minor. What was he? Oil, oil drill guy? Not, not that impressed. Not that impressed at all. Uh, Alvaro Morales. I have been watching videos on character design using the technique of creating silhouettes, but not in the style that you are making your drawing. Which also seems great to me. Creating the silhouette and the defining it with lines. Yeah, this, this is what I usually do when, when I want to come up with just some interesting shapes for Max because you can easily get lost in lines. Like even now, I feel like I, I spend a bit too much time on, uh, on lining around and I'm detailing too much. I should work with a thicker brush. So I'm just gonna listen to myself and speed this up a little bit. But yeah, it's a pretty good technique when, when you have a little bit of a block or something. Um, Jola, if you look from not the religion point of view this is the end of the 40 day fasting i think that's the word for it ah so maybe by fa by by uh, famine you meant fasting yeah 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 yeah. i see but that's also a religious point of view isn't it jola like it was like some pagan religion or or jewish religion ah, i'm not sure but i thought that was also religious connotation something Super sad to see him degrade though, one of the good guys, yeah. It also it totally makes sense why he started taking all those shitty roles in all those nothing movies. I read somewhere that he just wanted to make enough money to be able to afford a good future for his kids and uh, ankle kinder. This is why we call it Hushvit in Hungary, yeah. In Hungarian, it literally means like don't eat meat or don't, don't meat or get rid of the meat or uh, something like that. I mean, I'm just, should I just think it's religious because if you think about it, in the past, we didn't really have enough hippies and hipsters and millennials to look at fasting as something healthy you were fasting when you didn't have food or out of religious reasons there's, there's not uh, not many other options there <laughs> uh, you know that he got a uh, degenerative disease yeah, yeah 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 exactly it's it's not parkinson's i don't remember what it was but yeah he uh, poor guy not a happy ending for him. Jesus Christ, the most beautiful lips I've ever done. Some sort of dementia. 
can barely speak a word by now. Yeah. Hey, Yiru. Welcome to the secret stream. Yeah, I am up late. Actually, what's the time? Oof. Yeah, I should head to bed slowly. I guess I'll finish this one up and then uh, it is bedtime. His family's taking care of him, which is really nice. Well, he also took care of them. That's with with all the all the movies, he, try, he was trying to really get in enough money to have for everyone. Good guy, Bruce. It's not a secret if it pops up when I sign to YouTube. <laughs> hey. Do you see the title of the stream? It says secret. It's a secret stream. It's that simple. On a lighter note, have you seen the new guy looking like a witcher ordered on wish taking over Henry Cavill for season four and five? Wasn't he the, the Australian guy? The Hemsworth, one of the Hemsworth brothers? Am I, am I misremembering that? Yeah, Liam, Liam Hemsworth, there we go. I have nothing against the guy, I've seen him in some movies, but it's just... I don't think it fits him. Like, what, 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 what I've seen are some production pictures of... I don't know if it was him in a, in a wig, or if it was just Photoshop, but Henry Cavill is also a big guy. He has stature, like you know, he has presence. And Liam Hemsworth is, is a little bit smaller. It's, it's, it's not not a tiny guy by any any uh, stretch of the imagination, but he, I don't think he is he is Henry Cavill size. But at least Henry Cavill got his, his Warhammer uh, series out of it, so hey, maybe maybe that will be good. If, if he gets to be involved and if he shows, as I imagine he's as, as or more enthusiastic about Warhammer as he was about Witcher, I feel like that's, that's a good sign. Everybody can be happy. Yeah, it's like a bastard son of Henry Cavill, Witcher and Legola. <laughs> Youch. This one, you know, you know what we're doing? This is just not working out. Bam. Oh no. I thought I did something brave, but I didn't. There. It's, when it's sometimes it's not working out. It's not working out. You just have to. You have to murder that child. You can quote me on this one, YouTube. I said murder that child of yours. Throw it away. Throw it out with bath water. And just create something new, something better. Hopefully something robotic. Oh, he's totally enthusiastic with it. I saw an interview with some of actor and they immediately connected through that. I'll go with Necrons next time, it's a great show. <laughs> I think he's a he's a custodies guy, right? So but yeah. Necrons are the best. They're overpowered. 
I want Tao for the greater good. It's all for the greater good, my man. Oh my god, glad I saved the screenshot of this design and I could keep practicing on it. Oh, good you did. Walking washing machine, not quite. Tao also has dinosaurs. Yeah, they, they have that. Uh, I don't know the species name that they, that they're like sort of incorporated into their army. I played communist. <laughs> I love that people call them communists. I played communist style first, then next. Mac will disappear when you shoot down you know, their forces and cost so much more burning than others. At least when I played 15 years ago. Oof. I don't remember. I think it was a great robot design by the way, but you decided to change it. No, I didn't like it. I was I changed it because I started going into detail. So something something that I do sometimes and it is sort of a mistake is starting to de go a lot into detail instead of working on the bigger shapes first which i am trying to do now Now he looks a bit like the orange guy from the three bots from Love, Death and Robots. Oof, you have you have a good memory, sir. I do not, I do not remember them. I know there was a tall guy and a short guy. I didn't know there were three of them. I thought there was only two. It looks a bit like a smaller robot in Portal 2 co-op mode. Yeah, the ball. I mean, it's it's the ball. I, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can do something more interesting with the ball because we don't want that to be the only sticking ground. By the way, have you have you guys played the uh, Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty? I am I am going through that right now and I really enjoy it. I wasn't like the first time I played Cyberpunk, I wasn't I thought like, "Oh, hmm, this is this is not clicking with me. I thought I thought this would be my everything." I put like 60 hours in it, I think, first time around, but it, it wasn't like, oh, okay. But now I, uh, I am really clicking with it. Not gonna lie, helps a lot that it runs smooth on the Steam Deck. I am, I am at an age where uh, I prefer gaming on a couch as opposed to sitting at a computer, which is quite sad 
because I've always been an RTS player and Steam Deck is not made for RTS. But it's just... You know, you know the song, my neck, my back, uh, they all crack. Yeah, that, 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 famous, that famous song, you all know that one. That is, that is what's going on a little bit. I love the concept, just the free time is limited, but I think it's somewhere I'll make full playthrough. From CP2077. You should. I mean, I, I get I get the no no time as well. Like what, what I do is because usually I go to bed at an old man time, which is around 10. And then I'm awake at 6, 6.30. And if there's not a lot of work that I can do, because usually I, I like to start working early if there's work, but if there's no work, and especially during winter when it was dark, uh, I just kept on gaming until 8.30. So I had a good two hour every morning that I could uh, spend on cyberpunk but yeah i find it fascinating because the world is quite depressing there's nothing happy about it but yet i want i want to be in it interestingly enough okay micro break Sorry about that. All right, let's finish this video. Literally me and Pacific Drive, everything kills you but looks beautiful and tranquil at the same time. Well, that's the good thing about cyberpunk. Nothing touches me. I like, I like being a badass because in real life I'm not. And I was trying to be like, oh no, I'm a humanist. I'm definitely not gonna augment everything. I'm just gonna do some basic augments that are necessary. And I did that for the longest time. I, I got to level six, um, let's say 50, because the max level is 60, without over augmenting myself. And it was just today, this morning, I was like, oh, let me, I wanted to install one more thing. I wanted to check out something. And I install it and I take a look and like, oh yeah, I'm fully, everything, everything is cybernetic in me now. Or not in me, but in my V. So, yeah. No, I, I am Inspector Gadget, indeed. Here we have we have a. Let me let me do a quick non not not related to this. No, not that. Go away. Wrong button. Do you know? So I was watching on YouTube um, Saturday Night Live sort of thing. And they had a skit with Beavis and Belthead. And I think my audience is skewing towards the mid late twenties, early thirties. So I am curious how many people would get a skit about Beavis and Butthead because that is very 
90 stuff. Maybe maybe they are quite timeless. seen the sketch on SNL it was totally hilarious yeah I really I really liked it as well especially because the the lady clearly was not prepared for uh, for how they look or, or she didn't see she didn't see the makeup on them Okay, now we're repeating the same thing over and over again. Let's not do that. You never watched it? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did, but that's what I'm saying. Like, old people know that. The cartoon is like, what? It was in the 90s, like 30 years old now? Or, or maybe just the whole audience of Saturday Night Live is 30 and upwards. I'm 55, dude, and was and I still am a fan. Yeah, okay. You are you are the good you are you are the good age range for that. My favorite part was from the episode where they are fishing with a penny, and in the end, an old woman a radio, and other stuff is in the room, and they are just yeah yeah yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> So most people do know them. Interesting. I am. Uh, you guys, you guys are uh, in my age range, I guess.
uh, about dinner time. I'll catch up with you all later. Have a nice dinner room. Enjoy the turkey or alligator. No, not, not sure what you guys are eating there. So this is blending a little bit together, which I'm not the biggest fan of. This needs some fixing. The idea here is it's basically the same arm as the other side, but instead of the little fingers, it has some sort of sensor there. checking your Instagram and found very interesting how you use Viscom AI to render a design. I use Viscom quite often. It is, it is getting better and better with uh, humans as well. Uh, the Mac is doing the hand on the tip thing. <laughs> hand on the tip? What, what, what is that? But yeah, let me... Pull this aside, work, freelance. Oh, where is my, uh, there she is. Let's put her in here. So. So I did, let me see, does it open here? Yeah. I did this character and then I just took some reference and threw it into Viscom and it did some pretty, pretty cool renders. Of course, here part of the leg is missing and part of the hair, but other than that, this was literally just one button push and I, I I changed up the, the reference for coloring, but uh, it is pretty amazing. That's that's a reference. What uh, what AI can do? Oh no, there's one more here. Yeah. So these these are two variation of the of the same color reference. So yeah, I uh, I was quite amazed. It is getting better and better. Someday you could do a broadcast on the AI Viscom top. I did. I have several. I have. I have actually several live streams as well where I used Viscoms. Uh, Jola, is it the beginning begging pose you mean, or the don't make me go there wife pose? What? You guys are losing me, man. You guys are losing me big time. Don't know what's going on there.
there we go now now it it reads much better that that's a sensor and then the arm is there uh Matsubab, we are all getting used to bleeding colors in ai rendering and chernobyl fingers but i heard the other day ai music and was shocked by how good it was with voices and everything it is coming it is coming on netflix i don't remember the name but there was this anime on netflix from the guy who did uh, cowboy bebop and samurai shampoo about two girls who decided that they want to do act actual music because in the future all music is written at least if not performed by ai so it seems like it seems like that's where we're headed AI yeah, music if taken good care could make some really great songs search for the artist boy what he made spongebob metal with ai big rocket blocks on the side we'll, we'll get there we'll get there Christ. Music. Genre. Can I add some? Lounge. Chill. There we go. Lo fi chill beats. That's what we need. Just some good old lo fi chill. singer what are gamer words throughout my year if, if somebody says you don't want to know just just take the chance and okay go with that you know what you're right 
I do not want to know. I'm probably better off if I don't know. Let's do some sci-fi pattern. That should be enough for now. One final stretch for tonight and before we call it. Thank you, Tron48. He's a happy, very happy bot. We 
would be even happier if the perspective was right for him. Oh no, what happened, Billy? We need some sort of pivot system here as well. Gotta go now, however, it is late here. Thanks for the stream. Maybe next time. Good night, Zula. Sleep tight, sleep well. Yeah, I'm also slowly closing this one up. Just some final details here and there. It is, it is quite late. Oh shit, it's past midnight. Yeah. Quite late on the European front. Too late to go to sleep now. Hashtag three Tage wach. Three Tage wach. What the hell is that now? Uh, thanks, Rob, for sharing this with us. Your work is always inspiration. Thank you, man. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, I think this rest break is also the the late night good night call for me as well thank you guys very much for popping into this little late night stream it was a, a whole lot of fun uh, yeah feel free to to pop around we're gonna be streaming every now and then we're gonna have fun every now and then but until then enjoy your weekend and yeah see you uh, next time Bye bye. Uh, don't you remember Lesekraft 3D? No, no, ich will noch nicht gehen. Lass mich noch ein bisschen tanzen. <laughs> uh, tanz, tanz yourself zum Sleep. Bye bye.